Um, one of the beauties uh, about uh, having the new way in which we run uh, um, uh, the, the program where every month you're going to fill up your stats and, uh, and also what, uh, you are, what is your focus and also the wins that you had also the previous month is that we can have a much better clo a closer look at the results that uh, you're having month by month in your business. And so I was having a chat with Michelle when she was reviewing uh, all the results that, uh, um, that you had in the previous month. And there is definitely one that stood out because it's a great milestone, which is uh, actually achieved this target of five one-to-one -one clients at the price of almost £2,000 a month per client. And uh, that's a great milestone. Uh, that needs to be celebrated. Uh, I've seen his journey starting literally from the idea of having his coaching business and the evolution that he had. And that's what I want to focus this interview on. So get your questions ready because I'm going to ask a couple of questions to him. And then you're also going to have a chance to ask your questions. Now, thinking about the question that you can ask him, remember, uh, is not uh, per personal coaching. So I've got this situation, what would you do? No, that's not his place. Like, that's uh, not what he's here for. But questions about him or challenges that he overcome in the business or ideas, things that worked, things that, we, that didn't. So ask questions about him and this business and take inspiration and, le and learn from them. So without further ado, can we please give a massive round of whoop whoops to the GTEx member of the month, April 2022, Vishal Shah. Whoop whoop. Yeah, Michelle, welcome. Thank you, Simone. Thank you so much. Uh, <clears throat> a complete surprise. <laughs> just just found out a couple of hours ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really, really happy to be um, GTEx member of the month and um, to be in this place, you know, after so many years of being with GTEx and pursuing my dream and um, still pursuing it. So uh yeah really really chuffed about it and very very happy to be here thank Let, you let's get started straight away tell tell everyone uh, you know who you work with and what is that you do so then we can create the context of that sure so um i work in the area of where uh, i help people clear their past uh, and i do that by going into their subconscious mind and working with their uh emotions their traumas that they've been through uh, whether it's in their childhood or whether it's in their past lives, or it is even a uh, generational trauma. So essentially going in and clearing out everything that's affecting somebody. And it's, it's based on this quote, uh, you might have heard of this quote by Carl Jung, uh, which is, until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct you and you will call it fate. So until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct you and you will call it fate. So this is something that I've taken upon myself. Uh, he did a lot of work in this area when he was here back in the early 1800s. Uh, and now, um, you know, I thought uh, this is where I really want to work with. Uh, this is my passion. This is what I went through myself. And this is how I can help others to make their unconscious conscious so that they can also live a successful life. So let, let's talk about the, the beginning, because uh, when you joined, I remember you, were, you, you had a career in digital marketing. Correct. In particular, I think if I remember well, Google advertisement, yeah. specifically, like if I, so, which is a transition, <laughs> which is a hell of a transition going <laughs> from there. So um, tell, tell us a bit more about uh, some of the, um, the, uh, like your journey more at the beginning mm -hmm. uh, and how it was, uh, you know, navigating, uh, building something new alongside uh, your consulting work and uh, the work that you were already doing in digital marketing that was already existing. Sure. Yeah. So um, when I started out, this was um, about the same time as my son was actually born and that was 2012. Uh, like Sibona said, just turned 10 years uh, yesterday, actually. Yes, and um, he, 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 you know, this was the time when I went through a transformation and uh, it, it was a huge transformation. So uh, I thought if I were to, if I had to go through the, all of this, uh, how is it that I'm actually able to help others who also would uh, go through something similar like what I've been through? And that's where uh, this, I got this inspiration to start off on this coaching business. Uh, and, and 
I was looking for my purpose at that time. And, uh, you know, this thing that came up, uh, I, I don't know, I can't remember where I saw it. Maybe it was on, I think it was on Meetup or, you know, one of the websites, even Bright maybe. And um, it was this company, you know, at that time, GTEx, and uh, they were doing a topic on purpose to abundance. And uh, I, I attended that, um, you know, seminar. Uh, it was a day long a thing and um, I think at the end of the, the seminar I think well, from what I remember I was the only one or maybe one of the few who was uh, when Simone asked you know who has found their purpose you know I was the one standing up and saying I have found it you know um, and that was amazing I mean you know having you know spent that day um, and, and Simone taking us through all those questions one by one and at the end you know, it was like, what is your purpose? And at that time, my purpose that came to me was facing fear with love. Right? I still rem yeah. remember that. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. Um, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that was amazing. I mean, you know, uh, that brought everything out for me um, because I was searching for it. And you know how the universe works. It, it takes you places. And that's where, you, you know, for me, my answer at that time was Simona and Ben were doing this amazing work. And from then on, you know, um, I, I joined GTEx, you know, like Simona said, I got a very good bargain <laughs> at that time, but I, I, I trusted them, you know, this was it. I, I trusted them from what they, they were doing then. And I thought, you know, these are the guys that can help me build what I want to build. And, um, you know, I, I just, uh, as, uh, in a way I was, you know, by putting my money down at that time, even, it, even though, you know, it was a small amount, it, it still was a big amount for me because, uh, you know, uh, I, I was working uh, and at that, I, I didn't know whether this was going to, how it was going to plan out. Um, so, yeah. And uh, since then I, I worked up, I slowly started, I was working uh, full time uh, as, as an, uh, like Simona said, digital marketing consultant. And um, as I was working, I, I was doing sessions in the evenings, weekends, working away. I had two little children as well. So it was a big juggle, you can imagine, doing a lot of things at the same time. And then come 2019, um, going all the way till there, you know, having this support from GTEx. Um, you know, attending, keeping on attending the workshop seminars, a lot of the training actually helped me to get to where I was. Uh, I must admit, not only GTEx, I was also part of other organizations, other consultants that also helped me. So all of that really helped. And uh, come 2019, I thought, right, I either have to throw in the towel and say, right, I give up my full-time job and focus on this fully, or I just say, I give up my purpose and that definitely wasn't happening so I, I gave up my full-time job I said I'm gonna give this six months and see where it goes and my first client as in I, I had clients up until then but no one really as serious and after I left my full-time job my first client was a lady who paid me 50 pounds a month for a six months program and when she came to my place, I've got this like meditation hut in the garden. And I, I actually served her lunch <laughs> every time she came to my place. But each session, what I did, you know, and she allowed me to do this, was um, sh she allowed me to record a testimonial at the end of the session. And this I put up on my group that I created. And from there on, you know, it started to grow. So yes, I started at a very low end. I, you know, 50 pounds a month is nothing, uh, especially when I was there serving her lunch. But it, it gave me that confidence. It gave me those testimonials. Um, as you can imagine, your te testimonials play a big role in, in whatever you do. You know, you can say something, but if it comes from somebody else's uh, mouth, it, it adds a lot of weight. And, and that actually started the growth in my business. Absolutely. So uh, we're gonna actually. I'm gonna ask one more question to Vishal, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna pick some of the questions that you are putting in the chat. So I can see already one from Tracy. Please start writing questions because I want to have already some question pre-populate like already the, to select. So please write them down now. Um, the question I have for you is: uh, What was uh, a moment that you would define as a turning point for you? 
So it was in 2019, you made a decision. It's like, okay, no, now I'm, I'm giving this a go, seriously. Like no doubling, I'm in, I'm giving myself six months. When was the turning point for you that uh, made you say, I got this, like I'm onto something here? Um, do, do, do you, do, do, is there one moment that you can, you can remember? So, I mean, I would say there are two, two moments. One mm -hmm. is where, you know, um, I actually made this decision to go in full time. You know, a lot of us spend time, you know, being here and there, trying different things out, which is fine. You know, we, we are still testing the waters and everything. But the moment I said to myself, I'm committing my life to, to this purpose and I'm giving it everything, especially this six months, I'm going to give it everything. That's when things really change. Because when you, when you have, you know, your, your feet everywhere, your, your resources are um, kind of, you know, spread over, your, your time is spread as well, you're not really focused. But these six months actually made me focus and made me build up something that was going to, you know, bring in people who are going to work with me and, and create something. So that was the, the first turning point. And then the second turning point came when I actually had my first client. It wasn't a, a very high paying client, but nevertheless, it was, you know, 297 pounds for the month, <laughs> which, which is, you know, five times higher than what I used to get, which 50 pounds a month. But that, that told me, and that gave me confidence. I mean, that was a big thing. That gave me a lot of confidence that, what I'm doing is, is something that people want, something that people uh, need, uh, and they're willing to pay me, uh, even if it was 297 pounds a month. So as I slowly built from that, uh, built a product, and it was more about building, I know a lot, a lot of us talk about finding the right niche, right, and finding the right market. I think that is way over, um, you know, people, put a lot of energy into that. For me, it was more about refining my product. It was finding how I can make my product such that, you know, no matter who, 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 who would need it, you know, it could be anyone that would need that product. It doesn't have to be, you know, a, a, a female or male or uh, somebody who's going through certain things in their life. Because if you think about it, for example, uh, a BMW or a Mercedes, right? A person who's earning 2,000 pounds could be driving uh, the same brand of Mercedes to somebody who's earning 50,000 pounds, right? It doesn't really matter. So for me, it was really about refining the product such that uh, people from all walks of life will desire it. And, and that's what um, the product that I have today, uh, people come from all walks of life, whether they, so for example, somebody who I'm working with right now is, um, who simply wants to, at the age of 72, simply wants to pass over without carrying any baggage with him. Yeah? Somebody who is going through pancreatic cancer is somebody who I'm working with right now as well. Somebody who's going through 20 years of depression. So it could be anyone who wants uh, that product that, that will help them in, in any part of their life. Is there, which is really interesting. Uh, where there is that conversation about, you know, niche, niche, niche. And... Uh, you went a different way. You said, you know what? Instead of niche, 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 let me create, a, a, let me put all my effort on the product and on the offer, uh, which, is a, which is an interesting way to, to flip it. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious about this. So now it is time to get uh, to, to answer, to ask some of the questions that we have. And by the way, I will not be able to pick them up at the, every, every question. Otherwise we'll be here until, until, until one o'clock uh you are on fire today uh so i am uh, let me look at um, um mm, mm, mm. uh this one i think is interesting from tracy which was the first one in which groups did you put your testimonial um so i created a facebook group uh, which at the moment is called How to Clear Your Past. Uh, it, it has been renamed as, as we grow, you know, we, <laughs> we, we rename groups, et cetera. But um, if Simone also remembers, I used to I focus on relationships. 
Um, but uh, that was a group that I created. And slowly as I got uh, members coming in, uh, that's where I put the testimonials. Even if now, if you go onto my group, uh, it has testimonials of people I've worked with. And, and that is so important. Like I say, the testimonials are so, so important. They could be on your website as well. Uh, they could be, you know, on your YouTube channel. Uh, I've got them on my group, uh, Facebook group. And when people see those testimonials, I, that is what uh, works uh, incredibly well for anyone. You know, I, I, would, I would suggest before even you start uh, re revisiting your prices or, you know, your, um, your product, try and get testimonials because that itself adds a lot of weight. Thank you. Testimonial, testimonial, testimonial. In this case, he had his own group. So then he would put the testimonial in his own group um, with the people that he wanted to nurture, that he wanted them to one day to become client. Uh, there is a question from Angie, uh, which is, uh, when you first started, did you get lost and overwhelmed? If so, how did you get through that? So, yeah, I mean, when, we, when anyone starts, you know, on this uh, journey, uh, it, it's very scary. And... Um, this fear that uh, people have about whether it's going to work, whether it's not going to work. You know, I had that too. Uh, the way I overcame that was uh, because what I was doing was purpose driven. You know, when you have a purpose, when you have this feeling inside you to say to you that this is what you're supposed to do. This is your passion. This is, this is what you are living your life for. Uh, that fear then over is overcome very, very easily. So to overcome that, uh, you know, uncertainty, maybe the insecurity that one might have, try and see if what you're doing is what you really, really love and try and see if that is your main purpose, that that, that is your passion. And you really, it, it's, it's no longer a job for you. It's more like, you know, it, it's one of the things that you do in your day. Uh, it becomes part of your life and, and it, it's, it, it's just you. Uh, it, it's nothing separate from you. So if you find that, if, you, if you're able to connect to that, then uh, you can overcome any uncertainties, any fears, any insecurities. Thank you. So connect with that deep purpose and uh, somehow the way will, the path will be shown. <laughs> exactly. um, I, there is one uh, great question from Caroline. Um, how did you manage to, because you went uh, uh, also in the area of relationship and also now you're looking at the oral trauma. So how do you manage to market something that can sound uh, a bit woo woo or is less tangible? How do you manage to market that? What worked for you? Right. So I, I was um, scared about this as well, because when uh, initially I started to market myself as, you know, in, uh, initially with mindfulness and, and meditation um spirituality etc i thought people wouldn't understand me right people people will think um well does this thing really work does this thing really you know does it really help people and how am i going to get my messages across but what really gave me confidence was when those testimonials started coming in you know um when other people started speaking about it and as, as more and more testimonials came in um, I found that confidence in myself that, you know, if this is helping people, then, you know, I don't really need to be scared about anything. <clears throat> and I can really talk about this openly. Uh, and, and the universe will find ways of bringing people to you, you know? So, so those who don't believe in this will, will, will not, not be matched to that frequency. And, and it really works like this. You know, belief is so, so important because you know, even now, if, if I find like somebody uh, inquires about my services and I find that they do not have belief in this, then it's not going to work for them. So uh, I, 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 I make that as one of the, you know, tick boxes that I, I need to make sure that they actually believe in this. And, and you will find your people because you can imagine the world is full of different types of people and, and people who are looking for your services will automatically come to you. Thank you. Um, and uh, it's almost like that uh, from what I'm hearing you saying is that um, just keep talking about it. <laughs> keep yeah. talking about it because even if it is not tangible or if it sounds a bit woo-woo, 
the people that will resonate with that message, they will get it. Exactly. They will get it. And I think there is a lot of power in that. Uh, in, uh, uh, Of course, we want to give the practical benefits and how that's going to help them in a practical way. But at the same time, uh, if we want to attract people where their belief system uh, is in a higher power, talking about it is what is actually going to draw them in. And in particular, if part of your work uh, brings these principles into consideration. Yep. Um, there is another question uh, from Genevieve, which is, uh, how did your best clients find you? Um, good question. So <clears throat> what I find that nowadays, uh, the way clients find me is either through referral, you know, so I've got about a thousand, just over a thousand people in my Facebook group. So it's not a big number compared to other groups. But what I find is that usually those people in my Facebook group, they either know of somebody who require my services. So they generally tend to refer me to them uh, or, or it's somebody who's come through um, watching my YouTube channel because I've got a YouTube channel where I share meditations, I share I also share videos of um, clients that I'm taking them through this process. Uh, so they, they come to, to me with, with that. So I think, like I said you know, earlier about um, focusing on the product, you know, the, the product is so important. So when I, when I show the whole process to people, uh, and I think I shared one of the videos on, on our WhatsApp group, is um, when they see that of how, what a difference it's making to other people's lives, that's how they get confidence in, you know, approaching me and making an inquiry. Because uh, yes, a lot of times people are un unsure whether it will work for them, whether it will not work for them. And, you know, one way to kind of assure them, re reassure them is to just do like a, a one session. One session where you help them access their subconscious. That's what I do. And, uh, you know, always, always, in, in no matter who it is, you know, they're able to access their subconscious. And when they find that, wow, you know, this is actually, I, I can do this, you know? Uh, when they see that in the session, then they're reassured that, yes, you know, I can actually work with uh, Vishal and, you know, he can take me through this process. So in, in, in your cases, you know, maybe give them a taster of, of, your, pro of your product, whatever it is, uh, you know, whether it's in, in one free session, Make, make them see what what transformation no matter how small the transformation is you know sh show them that transformation and then you know everything else is sold for you which uh, i think like the everyone I invite everyone to think about okay how can i demonstrate as vishal is mentioning how can i demonstrate and put the client at ease by demonstrating what they can have or give them a glimpse of the results that they're going to have or how the process is going to work. Um, give them a, a shift, uh, in, no matter what this, that you're doing. If you can move them a step closer and they can see, then you can provide the rest of the way. You know, there is going to be less a reservation about who will this work? Will this work for me? Um, it, does Vishal know what they're talking about? Do you know what you're talking about or not? It's a great, that's a great way to showcase your, um, your expertise and get the clients at the same time. I have a final question to wrap up, uh, to wrap up this conversation, Vishal. Mm -hmm. um, if uh, there is one thing that uh, you wish you did more of, that you know, like this, uh, this actually works. I know with with GTX it was events. Like I wish I did more events. This did more training uh, because I know that's where people find us and they work with us. But every business is different. So, for you, what is one thing that you wish you did more of uh, at the beginning that uh, would get you where you're at right now, be a bit faster? That's a good question. So, I think what I would have done more of in the beginning, especially would be, I, I, you know, again, going back to testimonials, you know, if I had started collecting those testimonials when I even, before even I be began doing this full-time, because it was only when I started full-time in 2019 that I started collecting the testimonials. Oh, wow. 
if I had started period from like 23rd from 2014 to 2019 where you didn't have them well well, exactly where I didn't have do that you know for five years I I didn't do that and you know I was working at that at the same time so it was something that I was doing on the part a part-time basis but had I started collecting testimonials right from the beginning um then it would yeah uh it, it would I would be there if I if, you know already uh, in a few years time rather than taking this long to get here but this is why you know I would I would really really stress on testimony because I uh, you know those words are not yours uh, those words are of your clients people trust them more than you know they trust your word and you know it adds a lot of weight and and pretty much you know the sale is done um you have a very high conversion rate. You know, everyone pretty much I talk to nowadays wants to get on board. Um, you know, the only thing sometimes that stops them is obviously the finances. But even then, you know, I find that uh, a, a big chunk of them, 80% of them are now on board. Because I'll give you an example. For now, you know, I'm working with a, a, pharma, a, a locum, a pharmacist locum. So she works part-time in a pharmacy. And, you know, um, she she had problems with finances because she she only works part time. Uh, yet you know, having seen the product, having done the taster session, you know, she she agreed on working with with me uh, based on a payment plan. So she said, well, I'm going to work uh, locuming for three days a week. Whatever money I get, you know, um, I'm going to put it into this program that I'm doing with you. And um, you know, if people if people find the value, if people find that what you're offering them is, you know, is really going to help them. Money is secondary. They will find it from anywhere. You know, they will get it. They will, you know, so that they can actually uh, get to where they want to get to. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, if, if they want it, uh, if they want, they'll find a way. It yeah. always happens this way. If they really want it and if they see the value, they will find a way. Um, as a wrap up, Vishal, uh, what is something that uh, you are working on at the moment? Is there any particular project that uh, you have working on that uh, other members could help you out either by spreading the word or by uh, if you have something that you want them to share with their, um, uh, with their social media or mailing list? Uh, what is that? Sure. So, um... At the moment, you know, the one-to-one sessions, because I can only do five in a week, um, I'm pretty full out with those. Um, so, and, and there's a lot of people who want this. So I'm trying to create like a hybrid program. So a lot of the lessons that I actually talk to people on a one-to-one basis can actually be recorded and, you know, they can go through them at their own time. There may be some sessions, of course, where I, you know, have to do them on a one-to-one basis with them. So I'm trying to create this hybrid program where uh, I can get people to, you know, uh, at, at a much lower price to actually get on the program. Uh, and this is something that I'm working on right now. This is a project um, is on the back burner. It's taking a, a, a bit longer than I expected. But uh, yes, uh, this is where, you know, once it's ready, I can share it with you guys and maybe, you know, you can um, share it out. Uh, but uh, yeah, and I, I'll be happy also to get your feedback on it. So, you know, if some of you want to try and you know, test it out once it's ready, I'll, I'll put it on the group um, and any feedback will be much appreciated. I see, I see another quick launch coming up. I that's see it. another quick launch coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's brilliant. Can we please give a massive round of whoop whoops to Vishal? Congratulations, well done, well deserved. And I think that uh, I think w- what your journey is is also a brilliant example of uh, you know some some everyone uh, build their business at their own times. Um, everyone has their own journey, and uh, and also there is the lesson of because uh, if you are looking at the span of time is uh, from the moment where you had the idea of find your purpose to the where you are now is uh, a good uh, eight years. Uh, but the turning point was when you made the commitment. And I think that's the lesson I'm taking away is that there is a moment where we say, I'm just giving all I've got to make this work. Mm-hmm. And those moments, they are defining moments. And I can definitely resonate with that. So thank you, Vishal. You're absolutely awesome. Congratulations. Well done again. Thank you. Okay. So stop the recording.